Salutations and good morrow everyone, welcome back to another Grounded Update video where today we are here to talk to you guys about whether or not you should continue to play ground within 2022 or in 2022 if it is even worth you buying the game of Grounded and also here for free dad jokes. So this one is from our good friend uh, Axelot King and they said, uh, what, it, what did one wall say to the other? We'll meet in the corner. So anyway, uh, let's get in and let's talk about it. So the first thing that I want to say about is Grounded worth buying in 2022 and should you buy Grounded in 2022? And the answer is absolutely yes. Grounded is still a fantastic game. If you have not played it yet, I would still highly suggest you guys go through and play it because you can do all sorts of absolutely fantastic things within this game that you cannot do in other games like going through and fighting a giant spider when you're the size of an ant running through an Ant hill climbing into a sandbox that's that's you know so huge that it looks like you know a desert that surrounds you so this game i definitely would not say that it is dead or that it is dying or that it is not worth your time to go through and get it because right now even in 2022 they are pushing some serious updates to this game they are doing all sorts of things in this game throughout the next year that is going to be pushing through all sorts of cool things you're going to be able to do. And don't forget, guys, once this game fully releases, this game will go up in price. The price that they have on the game right now is not the end all price for this game. So it is going to increase in cost before the end of the year when they finally release the 1.0 launch. They have promised that we are going to be getting a full release of Grounded within this year, which means they have a lot of things that they need to finish before the game is actually launched so for instance we need to get things like i don't know this entire part of the map up here finished um hello there's this entire part up here need to be finished also we have a very very interesting story already that's been told through some different small portions that they still need to go through and that they need to um, finish for our characters to be able to find out what actually is happening within the backyard and what all is going to happen with your character. Are you going to get big again? Are you going to be able to go home and everything like that? So there's still a lot left to be found out, a lot left to explore and more things for us to do left in the game. Then that's not even adding in the fact that we're still talking about getting multiple additional bosses added to the game from a praying mantis to a large ant queen at some point to all sorts of other things as well. I mean, even Black Widow spiders were hinted by the Black Widow spiderling that was in the game earlier. So there is a large chance that we're going to be getting all sorts of new things coming to the game very, very soon that we were not ready for or that we are ready for that we are not expecting. And that saying just following in what we know is coming to the game already that's not saying adding in everything that isn't coming to, that is coming to the game that we don't know about yet and you know there's other things that we've talked about before on this channel from uh pawn striders to um other things like leeches and other items that could get other monsters and things that could get added to say the pawn so the pawn may not even be fully updated yet so really when you say to yourself well is grounded even really worth my time anymore is it worth me going through and playing it you know, Grounded's kind of dead or, you know, it's been a while since, you know, they've released a lot of stuff or somebody coming through and saying, you know, things like the last update was disappointing. You know, what I say to people who say that the last update was disappointing is think about the update you got right before that one. Okay. The update that we got right before the end of the wood update was absolutely massive. And on top of that, talking about the things that are coming in the next updates and things like that, there could be, they could be just prepping for an even larger update that could be coming out next. But you guys are so, there's so many people who are so excited about jumping right to, oh, the grounded team isn't working hard enough anymore. The grounded team needs to add more or what was with this last update? Why was it so small? It's not that the update was small, guys. Really, the update was not. They added an entire quarter of the yard in the last update. I mean, the update was not small in any means. Granted, yes, they did add a lot of copies of certain insects, but come on, guys, there's no way you're going to tell me that you didn't see something like that coming in the future. 
you're not going to tell me that it's like, oh yeah, they definitely weren't ever going to add a copy of something or a stronger version of something else. I mean, it only makes sense that they're going down that path. It's an RPG survival game, guys. So that was going to happen sooner than later. So there had to be that update that was coming. So now that we've gotten that update and we've gotten different things from infected wolf spiders to ladybird larvae, some ladybirds that got out of the game, green shield beetles, and all sorts of new bugs that are in the upper yard area that you guys haven't been playing with for very long let alone you know maybe even longer than, than some of the other things in the game but still nonetheless there are still new items that got added to the game that are still fun for us to go and explore and find then on top of that in that update they also pushed through a brand new area which was an entire termite den which would be the equivalent of adding a new ant hill to the game so when people say the last update wasn't very large yes it's not as big as the hot and hazy update and they still have a a lot of work to do before it is a ready for 1.0 ground it is but they are going to be pushing out all of that within 2022 there may be a couple things that fall off to the side because of that and we are aware of that and we have to just kind of be ready for something like that to happen because at the end of the day grounded is going to come to 1.0 before the end of the year they have a lot of work to do but it is going to release fully which means they have the story to finish they have the entire pond area to make sure it's finished up they have polish to throw through the entire game new armor new weapons two new bosses probably three for the ending boss and also figuring out an entire another par portion of the map. Literally, I would say at least a little over a third of the map still needs to be finished up here, considering this area up here still needs to be finished as well. And then on top of that, there's bases. There's the the ominent bases that need to go through and get put into all these separate areas, like what we have in the haze and over in the ant hill and in the hedge and over in the pond and all these different places where right now we have all these bases. They still need to go through and fill in all the other bases. We saw multiple locations of where a base could go into up in the upper area of the yard and that's not even counting in the under the shed base that they talked about in one of dr uh, wendell's notes that he had put out there so when i when i hear people say there's not that much left to ground it or ground it's dead or ground it's dying or anything like that i challenge them immediately because i say that ground it is definitely not dead there's still a lot more to come in this game and we just have to be a little bit more patient so when i say should you buy grounded right now absolutely you should definitely go through and get it and i'm not being paid at all by obsidian to say this by the way i'm saying this because grounded has become one of my favorite games ever released i have over two thousand almost three thousand hours in this game between all the different systems that i own this game on from my xbox to my computer on both different locations so i can play with multiple different groups of people and also going through i have unlocked every single achievement in this game and gone through and played this game a ton i have streamed this game i have done all sorts of things in this game that i have found to be so enjoyable and found lots and lots of enjoyment just being able to sit down and play and not only that but being able to meet a whole new community of people i would definitely say that this game is worth your time it's got just the right amount of challenge it's got just the right amount of building and with everything that's coming in the future i definitely think that everybody should be excited for what's coming for grounded in 2022 don't drop this game out yet. It's still one of going to be one of the best games that's going to fully release within 2022. You guys just have to wait just a little bit longer for the next update. And I would not be surprised, everyone, if we get another update very, very, very soon because of everything that's going on. Don't forget that at the end of this month, around the 30th, around the 20th of this month in March, they have announced that Adam is once again going to be joining the publicly, the public grounded test, um, the public dev, sorry, stream that goes on over on Twitch. And we all know whenever he joins, there's always big news for the game. So that could be announcing another public test server that's gonna be coming, maybe a smaller update. Hell, maybe it's a huge update that's coming that we just don't know about. So I'll wait to see what's gonna happen over there. And as always, guys, that's gonna do it for today. Thank you all so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button. And as always, I'll see all of you guys in the next one.